We have one critical minute to focus on the correction of calcium for albumin levels. Calcium is predominantly located in our bones for about 98%. The remaining 2% circulates throughout our body, the excessive majority of which is extracellular. A negligible fraction resides within the cell. So let's say a little under 2% of total body calcium can be found in the extracellular compartment, meaning the blood and interstitial space in equal concentration. Now half of this is in its ionized, i.e. free form, and half of it is bound to other molecules, mostly albumin. This is important to remember because when you order serum calcium, you'll get total serum calcium, meaning both free and bound calcium. However, only changes in free serum calcium could cause complications. So whenever we talk about calcium, we need to know serum albumin and correct for it, or we need to know the ionized serum levels. To correct for this, remember that for every point albumin decreases in grams per liter, calcium increases with 0.02 millimoles per liter. An example, serum calcium is 2.0 millimoles per liter, and serum albumin is 30 grams per liter. Let's correct this calcium for albumin. Normal albumin is 40, so albumin is decreased by 10 points. This means that calcium should be 0.2 millimoles per liter higher, i.e. calcium is actually 2.2 millimoles per liter if albumin were normal. So this patient does not have hypocalcemia. For more information on calcium disorders, watch my videos on it. You are dismissed.